Hello everyone. Let's learn what performance analysis is and how to do the performance analysis using OCAD suit. In order to explain this one, I thought of having a different diagram. Now we have already know how this passive low pass filter works. So those who are not uh, familiar with this one, I recommend you to look at my previous video. When you have this kind of RC passive low pass filter, we can mathematically derive equation like this and then uh, we can sketch it and see what the cutoff frequency is. For this one, we need to know what the R values and C values are. Now let's consider situation where we need to find the R value for our required cutoff frequency without making use of theory. Let's consider an example. Our capacitor value is 0.01 microfarad. And then the resistor value that we can change. And what we need to do is for a given cutoff frequency, let's say our cutoff frequency is 5k. For this 5 kilohertz cutoff frequency, we need to find what the suitable value of the resistor that we need to use. We are supposed to do AC sweeps for this RC circuit for many times. So then we can obtain different curves like this. For each and every curve, you can calculate different cutoff frequency value. So then we can plot this one. My y axis is the cutoff frequency and x axis is the resistor value. So that I can obtain different different points. Having this graph, I can determine the resistor value that I need to use. So this one, of course, we can easily do with OCAD. This process is called a performance analysis. And let's see how we could solve this problem by doing a performance analysis in OCAD. Here I have drawn our RC filter circuit in capture sys and you can see I have used VAC to do the AC sweep and the resistor value I have used here as 1K. Now what I want to do is a AC sweep while changing R1 resistor value so therefore I'll change this one into a parameter so I'll put uh, the para variable name as R well I'll, and then in order to change this variable value I need to add component called parameter then uh, I need to add uh, this R well to param so I'm going to double click this so in the property I will add new property here so the name of the property I need to use the same as the variable that I have used in the resistor so it's R well and default value I will use it as a 1 kilo now I have added this variable to a parameter list and then I can uh, do the simulation. Now let me create the simulation profile and I need to do an AC sweep. So the sweep range I will pick from 1 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz because I'm, my cutoff frequency is 5 kilohertz. So then our well value I will change it from 2 kilo ohm to 10 kilo ohm from 1 kilo ohm steps and then I'm going to run the simulation and since I don't have any of the probes it will give me a blank window. Now here you can see I'm getting 9 different values here because of the different R values so it's for 2k, 3k up to 10k you can see so by default everything is selected I'm going to use the same. Now here you don't see any graph because we haven't added any probes. I'm going to add a trace here. 20 log 10 is the one that I want to use. Then I'll put V out divided by V in those parentheses. So here I have those uh, curves and now I'm going to uh, do a performance analysis on all these curves. So for that I'm going to click this particular button called performance analysis. Once I do that, by default, I'm getting 
a different axis system and you can see x axis of that system is r value and uh, you can see here this axis system is selected so if i add a trace now that will be added to the y axis so i'm going to add a trace so here you notice that on your right what i'm seeing is fun under functions or macro those are the measurements that i can do those measurements i can do on this graph at the bottom so i'll pick cut off low pass 3db and there uh, my input parameters are v out i need to come uh, one step left divided by v in all right so now on top what i have is cut off my y axis is cut off frequency that is minus 3 db point that is in uh, x axis is r value so if i want to find anything uh, any value i can easily do it so let me enable a curse enable cursors and uh, so this is my cursor so you can see from the bottom as i move this one i can find different values so if if needed i can issue search command also that's kind of easier so i'll issue a search command search forward level now uh, y axis level what i want it's 5k so i'll just put 5k here click ok so it automatically moves to the location where i have y axis equals 5k and the resistor value you can see it is 3.379k so the meaning is that when i have 3. 379k from this circuit i can achieve the cutoff frequency of 5 kilohertz so hope you understand it so this is how we do performance analysis using pspice